Welcome to the channel guys. We are out here at the garden getting ready to give them a quick watering. I watered them real heavy this morning. I'm watering twice a day right now because it's so hot. Uh, I am no expert at gardening. I learn just like everyone else. I've been doing container gardening for about 10 years now. My soil is just getting to the point where it's good. It's just so you put your hand in there and pull it up. It's full of worms just the way you need it the tomatoes are doing great but the last three days it has been well over 100 degrees with high heat indexes and uh, one way I have fixed that is by shading my entire tomato plants now there's just a few that don't but actually they are shaded from the evening Sun but it is helping tremendously so we're gonna go water these things real quick through last video of the month and maybe I can tell you some of the things that I've done wrong that maybe you don't have to do next time and tell you what's working for me okay every I've moved this garden several places on the property last two years it was out here one year did well but it wasn't that hot of a summer and the other year last year it just did horrible didn't hardly get any tomatoes everything died uh, the only thing left of that is my herb garden here where I've got sage and uh, <laughs> man that stuff's going good oregano yeah and there is some celery in the back and also I've got some herbs growing out here that are doing wonderful all right let me get under the shade and give these things a little bit of a drink it's still pretty hot out it's probably about 90 but in there it's shady it's okay to give them a little drink let's go all right, we're out here at the garden. Let me get to the end. Find the hose. Now I took a pole, the one, one of them paint poles, and put a rubber bowl on it and stuck it in there. That way I can push this screen up so my head ain't scraping it. Now let's go on out here. I want to oh, get all the hot water out of the line all right look at those peppers i mean i tell you uh, let me fix the all right there we go i'm just giving them a enough water to get through the night then i give them a heavy water in the morning oh these I've, i don't think i've ever had peppers so healthy looking nice dark green they're just doing well and a lot of that is I've spent the last three or four years just getting this soil just right. You know, you, you go buy those bags at the Walmart or whatever. They don't have all the things in it that plants need. Yeah, you can probably grow some things. They're just not going to be as healthy as they should be. And these could be a little more dark green. And let's see what these are. Fresno chilies. Yeah, I don't think I've ever grown them, but they'll come around. Yeah. Usually I water once a day. I've been watering in the mornings, but it's just been so hot. And those are weeds. I ain't watering them no more. Look at the watermelon. It finally decided to wake up. I highly doubt anything's going to come out of it. But it's growing. No one never knows. And I do know watermelons require a lot of watering. And look at the big giant okra. Woo! Waldo Hush. Last, I, I couldn't let the last day of the month go, guys, without a video. There's Millie up on the on the deck up there. It's nice and shady. Puppies are doing great. Trying to get them all spiffied up for their trip next Sunday. And I was looking at them. <laughs> I'm going to have to go buy another kennel another transport kennel because they're too big now they are not gonna fit in that so I want them to be comfortable it's gonna be an hour-long drive so you know thing is after I you know I might probably donate the kennels to the rescue if they want them because I won't have any use for them because I'm not getting any more puppies guys all right, we're going through here real quick. Then we're going to go under the screen where the temperature is very, a lot cooler. 
And this side of the house, you can see Miss Tilly over there. Yeah, it's nice and shady. Let me get under it. Oh, I gotta water these. Look at the flowers on the spaghetti squash. In the mornings, they're really nice blooms on them. Get in there. And squash takes a lot of water, too. Uh, like I said, this is just we're wetting it down. Give them a little moisture for the night. Skeeters are out pretty bad already. Take a drink, my little friend. Gum, 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 gum. You can hear them. Can you hear them? Uh, let me do the limbo here. Uh, uh, gotta make them noises. Look at them maters. <sighs> Eggshells. I've been kind of digging around the bases, scooping a little dirt out, putting my eggshells in there. Hey, I'm making a movie, Lily. Dog's air conditioner froze up on me earlier. I looked at the thermometer, it was 89 degrees in there. So I went and I put it on the fan for about 15 minutes. It's so hot that it thawed out. And it is cool in there now. And marigolds are thriving. But look guys, I mean every plant. I am gonna have tomatoes coming out my ears. I don't know how to can, so I, I boil them briefly, I peel them, I dice them up, I put them in uh, the sealer, I, what do you call it, the food saver, and freeze them. Then I use them for chili, spaghetti, you know. I don't never buy diced tomatoes. Don't need to. I've got it, I got some in there from the garden two years ago. I imagine they're still good. And I'm getting bigger ones this year. Now, I did not plant these from seed. The neighbor did. <laughs> she was over here the other day. She's, she says, well, we, yeah, we, we seed many, so. But I need to learn how to do it like they do. That's one thing I have never, never got a whole lot. You know, I'm just not set up for to do the seeds. I need to get a greenhouse, and this is a good place to put a greenhouse because I'm already, I've already got my gravel down. So look at that big dude! Oh, we got to get in there and look at that beautiful thing. Look at that! Look at that beautiful thing! And I've never had a problem with bugs getting you know, worms or anything in my tomatoes here. So whatever I'm doing. Must be right. <laughs> my ice cubes are already melted in my teeth. Woo! Tell you what, I had never in my life liked lemon lemon in my tea. Or actually the lemon in my air. <clears throat> Get out of here, bug. Lemon in anything. Now I've been putting lemon juice in my tea. I love it. And I'm squirting lime juice and everything in my water. Ah, I'm going through a phase, guys. Look at them marigolds. Party. Get a drink, my little friends. Oh, oh, thank you very much for the drink. Oh, thank you. And big maters loaded on that one. So I think... Well, I know that this shade cloth that I put up has helped tremendously. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be as hot as it was last summer. So far it has not because it started in May last year. And we just haven't, you know, just had a three days. It looks like the next week. And it's going to be in the mid-90s. We'll take it. Look at all the tomatoes on that one. Wow. It is something. So if anybody's wondering if container gardening and if you if it's any good, yes. This is proof. You can. These are probably, I don't know, 25 gallon lick tubs. But I've grown good tomatoes in five gallon buckets too. Well I wouldn't go any smaller than a five gallon bucket. And you're just not gonna fog it off me. You're not gonna get big plants like this. 
they like to have their roots spread out a little bit. All right, let's just give them a little drink. Like I said, I'm not a master gardener. I stick to what I like. I grow what I like. Tomatoes, you can always freeze them, can them. There's so many things you can do with them. Plus, and I, and I had my first one today on a sandwich. You're like, sandwich? I thought you quit eating bread. I did. But I've been getting keto bread. Keto bread has no calories, nothing in it. It is good for you. And man, in the summer, you crave sandwiches. But the downside is it's $7.20 for a loaf. And the loaf is not big. But if I can get away with not eating regular bread, so be it. Which brings up this. It's a sad world when the stuff that's actually good for you, they charge that much money for. They know damn well they can make it and sell it for cheap. But the problem here is it'll only be in our stores once in a while because, well, they cater to the food stamp people. Food stamp people won't eat that. And even if they had money, they won't eat it. So they don't, it's just, it may be there one week and there goes two weeks, you don't see it. Because they're stocking everything, all the garbage food that the food stamp people eat. Which they eat that because it's cheap and they get more food for their, for the money. Now the free money. All right, these, I'm not gonna do anything with the herbs. They're fine. Oh, look at these guys. And I've already harvested six peppers off of these green peppers. Green bell peppers. Yeah, they are dark. And beautiful. And look at the ghost pepper. This, that ghost pepper is looking mighty healthy. It was struggling at first. Let me get away from that air conditioner, guys. Right? She was struggling at first, but she ain't struggling no more. Alright. Man, how big's dill get? That looks like a dill tree. Alright, and that'll do it. Alright, they got their little drink. Look at this dill. I like doing this. Smell like a dill pickle. Seeds. And here's a look back at the garden, guys. See how nice and shaded and loaded. I love it. Well, hello, Miss Telly. Are you staying cool? You guys ain't real good. Yeah. I know. It's hot. You know where to be, though. All right, guys. I got that one last video in for the end of the month. Here we are. Everybody's happy. Look at that spaghetti squash climbing. That's going to produce. Yeah, I like these little things. They come in, they're like little fingers. They come out and they wrap around. Yeah, puppies are in there. They ate. They're in there playing. Yeah, they got a nice shaded area. Let's go see them. Because they're only going to be here, let's see, eight more, nine more days. What are you guys doing? Did you want to be in the movie? Yeah, look how big they're getting. You guys are monsters now. Your fur looks awesome. You're all healthy. You just got your new your next next guard yesterday. You ain't got no bugs. You ain't got no bugs. Dirty nose, your nose ain't so dirty anymore. So I'm gonna get you some collar. What do you got? You, you they've been picking on you. Yeah, you guys are all spayed and neutered. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, they got some bumps on their heads. And that's some smacking each other. I got a, who is this? That's, loose, that's Dirty Nose. I got a, she's a bully. All right, guys, you guys, you got one more weekend after this. One more. And I got to get you out of there, Dirty Nose, and look at your head. Put some medicine on it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. We will see you next month. Happy trails.